My name is Adal Fort Udo. I'm from Nigeria, born in Lagos, grew up in Oroshoki since when I've been little. And I discovered what I can do right now from a particular movie I watched, that's Twin Mission. And from that movie, I blend myself to the people I saw, the actors I saw from that movie, which were very rare. I have not seen that kind of people before. So from there, I started, it was like, they were doing some kind of move. And at that moment, while they were doing it, I said I should try this. I've never seen something like this before. And at that very moment, as I tried it, I did it. Contortion, sometimes referred to as contortionism, is an art that's not very popular in Nigeria. Sam and Blessing are contortionists in Lagos who hone their skills from constant practice and watching videos on YouTube. So from there, I started pushing. Then I pushed into dance from there till I grew up. I still didn't know what I was doing all this while until six, seven years back, then I had to start doing research on it. From there, I then know what I am doing. Then I started working on it professionally, taking it very serious, taking it to a very high stage too. From what I've been doing from time come to now, I've been watching videos on YouTube and other ways I can actually learn from. So that way I've been learning. Then some of my friends, which I work with right now, they came to me that I should teach them. So for me teaching them, I have to go work more on myself. I have to go watch more videos to improve so I can teach them. So that way I've been learning by myself until when 2019, that was when I went for a yoga class, a yoga school, and I got satisfied from being a yoga teacher, yoga instructor. So aside from that school, there has, there has been no other school. Once I come up on stage, I connect with the whole space entirely. I connect with everything around me. Even the sand, the water, more or less a human being. I make sure I connect down to the hearts of anybody watching. Nigeria as a whole, it's, I also, it's me, number one. Like I'm the best. So from there, I've made, I've made income from it. Then I build up a group. Whereby, if I have a job, I don't even want to go for the job. If the pay is not okay to me, then I bring up the new generations, which are just starting, and I send them out to go for the job. Most times, if I fall sick, I fall very sick, typhoid, malaria, or I fall sick. I still make sure if nobody is at home, I put on my sound and I do movements in the room. With that way, I sweat everything out. I get better at it, and I probably go out, go laugh at some people. Then with that, I can beat off my sickness. Or if I have a job, I'm falling sick, and I just hear about a job. I'll make sure, if they are paying me or not, I just make sure I go for the job, beat up the stage, connect with people. So that way, me connecting with people and dragging more energy. So that one builds me up again. And if I'm sick at that moment, I don't get sick again. Or if I should have a particular injury, like presently I'm having an injury, which I'm not supposed to do anything at all. But when it comes to me performing, because I don't, I don't see myself as an entertainer, I don't entertain, I perform. I do act with my homework. But most contortionists, they want to entertain. They also want to make sure you say wow to what they are doing. But me, once I come up on stage, I don't want to, I'm sure I don't even want to hear any noise. 
I just want a quiet space. I do my thing. Then at the end, you can give me whatever comment you want to give me. Actually, I've not broken any bone before. There's some, um, not even, normally I dislocate my joints. So all I've been doing is dislocation, dislocation. So the injury I can just get is from muscles. When I strain a muscle, like I go extremely out of the act. So I've only had just two. The first one was my shoulder. And the second one is the nail, which I'm having now. Because that's, that's why I say when I'm on stage, the space I'm in, if I, it can put so much energy in me and I, I even want to take off my hand or take my head off my body. So if I'm performing on the stage where I'm at, the energy I'm picking from that stage is building me up. I want to do something very, very, very crazy, which I've not even practiced before. So it's more like I'm going into the spirit realm into somewhere else that is just black. And I just do things extremely out of that. But the most extreme I've done was twisting my neck to the back. Then I used to have, I do this um, triple fold. That's the back bend. You have to triple fold. You fold like twice with your back bend. But I have to stop doing that because I've seen too many people doing it and I want to create my own style. I don't come up on stage and I do something and they'll be like, this one can do it. This one can do it. Because it brings, it's still the same transition you use and going into it. So I want to do something that the transition, you barely see it around. If you watch multiple videos, you hardly see it. It's very rare to see. So that's why I have to cut off some moves from what I do. Like I. I do a whole lot of moves before to make sure I entertain people like then way back. Then when I had to now start noticing myself, what I can do, how more I can reach out with my skills, then I have to just cut out some moves and start working on my own moves, creating mountains for myself. More like the racket move in Nigeria now, presently. I'm the only one. Though there are many, there are others now coming up as well, trying to get their own racket and start doing. And some of them will still come up to me and like teach me this particular move, and I will still teach them. So there will still be a time whereby, if I see that okay, oh, they have gotten it up to that level, I know I will drop that and move into another one. So because they've gotten the neck twist. To live, I know, hey, I can't do it again. I can't go any further than that. I had to leave it for them. So it's only when I have this kind of audience, like if I have a performance for a particular program, and I can, I they'll ask me for to perform like five times, five different times for one event, and I can't come up with another move for the next performance. I can come up with an album for the third one, the fourth one. So that's how I just break down the moves. Then probably the last performance, that's where I can come up with the neck twist. And I have to work out for it. I can't just go up and stay and just twist my neck. So I have to do a one week neck stretch to stretch the muscles on my for one week stretch. Then when I appear on stage, I'm ready to just twist it out. The goal for me is to build more like a cycles in Nigeria, bring that to Nigeria. There are people doing it, but it's not really like cycle cycles. It's just more like a show. They just do it and they call it a cycle show. And cycle show is not supposed to be something you just do once in a year. It's supposed to be something you do like every weekend in the, in the year. So what I'm looking at from five to 10 years from now, is that I bring cycles into Nigeria. 
the when it comes to contortion, most people they mistake contortion for dance. I'm not saying, but just they just be like, "What do you do?" I will say, "I'm a contortionist." I'll be like, "Oh, dancer." I will say, "No, I'm a contortionist." And I'll still be want to be like, explain what is different from contortion and you being a dancer. So I have to now start breaking it down to them that this is contortion, this is dance, though it still looks more alive. Like when me I come up on stage, I move to music. Some contortion is they don't have that musicality. They just do. Make sure people shout. But me, I just make sure I come up on stage. I have that musicality. So that's why when some people see me perform mine, they call it dance. It's not dance, it's contortion. So me, I call mine contortion act. So it's an act I'm just portraying to people. Not Before I met Lesson, I've just known six, seven contortionists. Before I met Lesson, I've known just six, seven contortionists, which I've worked with. And I didn't work with all of them. I met a few of them in a competition, whereby if they see me, they just see that somewhere I've come, they will even want to leave the competition for me. But I'll be like, oh, what is it? Is it not the same thing we are doing? We are but they see me and they will still want to run away from me. Same thing to Blessing. We met at one show, then. Then from that show, I saw her. She was the first female contortionist I've seen. Like, I've traveled Nigeria, I've seen contortionists. But she was the first one I've seen that was different from other females. Hi, my name is Miss Okute Blessing Uche. I'm 21 years old. I was born January 7th, the year 2000. I'm a student of Lagos State University, Ojo Campus, two hundred levels. I'm actually studying physical and health education. I started about six years ago when I was seeing this movie, Our String. It's about this teacher, a dance teacher actually. She was teaching her students how to split and then carry their legs up. I was very, very amazed at what these girls can do with their bodies. So I decided to start on my own too and to start stretching. I would always stretch my parlor. It got to a point whereby my parlor wasn't, a, wasn't, wasn't spacious enough for me. So I had to go to this place opposite my compound. It was spacious. So I took this, my, my, my dad's mirror because he used to be a, a, a barber. He had a salon. So I took his mirror there and then I would always practice alone in, the, in, the, in that place. When I say it's profitable, Okay, it has been profitable because I was, I'm, I'm, I was able to use this money I get from the shows I do and the concert I go for, for, for my, my school bills and other bills that I, I, I have to pay. It's actually helping me take care of some other things too, but I'm not where I want to be right now. I'm not getting what I want right now because I want more. So every lady that wants to be a gymnast or a contortionist should know that it is painful and Whatever you put your mind into, you're going to achieve it. One thing that helped me to get this far is my consistency and my persistency. I was always training. Sometimes I go as hard training for like three to four hours every day. Most times I train in the night, stretching in the night before I go to bed. My mom always be like, blessing, blessing, blessing. You're not a boy, you're not a boy. You're always acting like a boy. I'd be like, mommy, just stop that, come out of it. This is what I like to do most. One of my biggest challenges in what I do is that whenever I go to the bar to perform or any concerts, men are always my, my challenges. Like they, they just keep coming at me because they feel because I stretch too well, because my, my hip flexors are very, very flexible and because my backs are very flexible and I bend into some other shapes and some different kind of shape. They think because I'm very flexible like that on the stage, I'm going to be that flexible on the bed too with them. They even go as far as touching me, asking me stuff like, I'm not for a night, I'm not for a short time. I'd be like, sorry, I'm not a sex worker. Sometimes I fight them, sometimes I insult them, sometimes I talk to them anyhow, but I can't keep doing all that, so I just find a way to maneuver them. We asked myself five years from now. Actually, in, five, in, in three years' time, I should be done with my school 
my BSc certificate there in Lasso. So I intend traveling after that. I intend going to the US, New Orleans, precisely. Actually, I'm actually mailing an email to them to know if I can for them out there and then to be a professional gymnast competing and representing my country in Nigeria.